Hey everyone, what is up, what is up? Ethereal here with another video. And today I wanna to reveal to you guys six things that I use to thicken my 4C hair. And I want to show you guys exactly the things that I've used for the past couple of years that have helped me significantly to thicken it. And as you can see, it's just really, it's gotten amazingly thick. And in order to do this, I did incorporate new products into my routine that has helped and has become a staple um, for my hair or my hair routine over time. So the first thing that I would say really contributed to my hair thickening is lavender oil. And I know you guys have heard me say this a lot, but lavender oil has really contributed greatly to thickening my hair um there though there were times where i was experimenting with other essential oils and whatnot there was i i mostly use lavender oil because i researched and i saw that um from my findings that lavender oil thickens the hair and i was like okay if this is known to thicken the hair let me put a bunch of it on because i didn't know what i was doing back in the <laughs> A day so i put a bunch of the essential oil on my hair it irritated the crap out of my scalp um because again i i didn't know that you were supposed to dilute it with a carrier oil or base oil whatever they call it so i would put it on every other day <laughs> but don't do what i did because <laughs> it my hair my scalp was burning because of it because <laughs> I, I i did not know what i was doing but um through those mishaps I found that that is something that was true, that the lavender oil does thicken your hair. Um, but yes, definitely lavender oil is something that I would honestly swear by. The second thing would be shikikai. Now you guys know that I use shikikai shampoo, DIY shikikai, okay? That is something that has helped me a lot with growing out my hair. Shikikai is amazing, it has so many different benefits um it doesn't strip your hair of its natural oils so when you do shampoo with it it doesn't leave your hair ridiculously dry if your hair is known to be dry that's one thing that us farsi natural struggle with is our hair being dry right i haven't seen a full-on improvement in my hair until i started using shikakai. The third thing that I have been using consistently throughout the years that has helped to thicken my hair is putting dried herbs in my hair oil. So how I usually do this is I get some dried herbs. I, I select a, a couple of them online depending on what you want. Um, it can be lavender, it can be lemongrass it can be a bunch of different things but i combine them all and i put them in my oils along with the essential oils with the herbal oil and what i do especially i usually do this during the springtime is i put the oil i fill the dried herbs up in this mason jar i put them all in a mason jar and i just shake shake it up i shake it up and then I put them outside, I let the heat get it. I let the heat, you know, kind of slightly warm it up and it gets all of the nutrients and whatnot out of the herbs into the oil. Um, and usually people say to leave it for like a week or two. Some people just leave it for two days, which I'm like, why? Because at the end of the day, like, are you really getting the nutrients out of those two days? Like, I don't think it takes, you know, that short of a time. Or I leave it in the mason jar for two months. Notice how two months has always been my sweet spot, even when it comes to taking care of my hair, rebraiding my hair. And I would shake the oils up, you know, every, at the end of every week. Just shake it up, leave it outside. Shake it up, leave it outside, you know. And then um, after that, I just drain the oils and I use the oils for my hair care. And I have noticed an immense change in my hair. Uh, the density had increased. My hair seemed to really enjoy the oil <laughs> uh, way more than I did when I would just use regular oils. Um, something about herbs, my hair just loves. So that is definitely something that I recommend you try when you get the chance. It definitely helped to thicken up my hair throughout the years as well. And the fact that I use this 
religiously like every three days i mean that that's definitely that's definitely something that has contributed to my hair within the past couple of years the fourth thing that i use to thicken my 4c hair is aloe vera okay so there's a lot of things throughout the years that i have done with aloe vera but the thing that has stayed consistent in my routine was adding a half half and half with my spray bottle half water and half aloe vera with my spray bottle and i'd shake it and i'd spray it on my hair it has helped a lot with keeping the moisture in for a longer time than when i have distilled just distilled water but Either way, it still works well, but aloe vera definitely helps to keep that moisture, you know, there. I don't know what it what it is, but aloe vera definitely works. And this is something consistently that I have been doing for about a year and a half, uh, but it has really, I've really seen a lot of different benefits with it when I use the aloe vera compared to when I use just regular water for my spray bottle. The fifth thing that I have used to thicken my 4C hair throughout these years has been castor oil i use it mostly as a carrier oil or as an oil base for adding my essential oils and whatnot in it. using castor oil has really helped in being able to strengthen my hair over time that's why my hair is so thick that's why it's so strong now um, and i think that's also why it has aided me in being able to grow my hair so long you know the sixth thing that i've used to strengthen and thicken my 4c hair is extra virgin olive oil now extra virgin olive oil has helped a lot with growing my hair as well i mix this with it, castor oil as well um, for my hair oils um it's both of these are a strong base that i use and then i add you know my essential oils and whatnot to it um but it has helped a lot in aiding my hair it has helped with strengthening my hair and protecting my hair especially my strands you guys know that i put the oil usually on my strands not the ends because i like to go super hard on the ends with the butter okay you know i'm extreme i'm i'm gonna make sure that my hair gets those inches okay you're not breaking off anytime soon okay that's me that's just how i am but yes it has helped a lot with um growing my hair out these are literally the things i've been using consistently as you notice it's a lot of oils a lot of hydrating products a lot of hydrating agents to help with growing my hair my hair is prone to getting dry you know so i make sure that i kind of wrap that the best way that i possibly can i make sure it gets what it needs you know um because of my constant frustration back a couple years back before i started figuring things out on how my hair grows or how to retain my length with my hair um i went i just went extreme one day like i just got sick of my hair being dry and i was like i, I just started doing research <laughs> i did a crap ton of research and i was just like you know what i'm gonna make sure i use all of these things we're gonna see today what my hair likes and what it doesn't like okay so Maybe that's something that you guys should probably look into. Definitely, I highly suggest it because it's what helped me to learn more about my hair. Like sometimes you just get to a point where you're just done, you know? And I had to get to that point where I was done with my hair acting up all the time and me not knowing what was wrong, you know? And um, it was in <laughs> being extreme <laughs> that I've learned a lot about my hair. <laughs> so... Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. You don't want to miss anything around here. And I will see you in the next video. This is Ethereal signing off. Bye.